Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching In Depth on Now You Know. All right, so does the Tesla semi-truck use battery breakthrough technology? Yes. So a lot of people would have been speculating that there's no way that you could fit that many batteries into a Tesla Roadster, and there's no way that you could cheap enough have enough power in the semi to run it the distances that it's claiming, 300 and 500 miles. If you're using existing lithium technology? Yes. Where, where do you fall on that? So I would say that I think that for the semi, they're using traditional batteries that they've been using uh, for the S and X and stuff like that. But I think for the Roadster, I think the Roadster is going to have sort of that next generation hardware, uh, next generation batteries and stuff like that because mm. it's called the next generation Roadster. Yeah, no, I think at the event that we were at, the semi reveal, they were using current technology. I don't think they were using some new graphene battery. I think that they were just showing it off with existing technology. That's my take. I don't think they've actually gotten it to production yet. But I do think that in the near future, in the next two, three, four years, they will get to some new battery technology. But I do want to point out, here's my theory about how the Tesla Semi can work using current Model 3 2170 batteries. Mm -hmm. Everyone's saying, how are they doing the megacharger? I think it's simpler than we're thinking. Yep. Here's a picture you're seeing right now of the charge port on the Tesla Semi. Right, and it looks, in the, in the blown up picture, it looks really small, but if you see in comparison to what it actually looks like, you know, for that big picture, that's a huge port. That's right. something around this size. Right, like, Whereas like right now, sandwich size. Right, like, yeah, big. Um, but whereas right now the, the Tesla supercharger plug is, what, like around that size? So yep. it's, it's much bigger. My theory mm -hmm. is that there are four Model 3 motors on the Tesla Semi. We mm -hmm. know that. Okay. I think there are four battery packs. It's like having four Model 3s mm. mushed into a semi truck. Mm. And I think that when you go to charge it, you're charging four batteries simultaneously. So it's as if, picture this, you pull in your semi truck to mm. a supercharger and you're using four superchargers to charge four batteries. Now obviously they'll make a mega charger which will have all four cables in one and it'll distribute the power to all four batteries. Now why do I say that? Because if you pulled in th four Model 3s to a supercharger station, you could charge all four of them in about half an hour, um, which is I think, what they think you're okay. going to be able to well, do. Well, I mean, I think it's it's equivalent to all that. I think it's the equivalent amount of battery packs. I think it's uh, equivalent amount of supercharging and, and all that. But I don't think that it is literally four separate battery packs. I think that that would be a little bit too complicated. You can just have a bigger battery oh, Yeah, pack. no, I mean, I'm just saying okay. in, in my simple brain equivalency, um, it's not like they just had to come to some new technology. I think that it's just fairly simple, straightforward. Right, so people are speculating that it's going to be around 10,000 pounds and cost more than $100,000 for the batteries. And a lot of people are saying that that just can't work. And I, I say it can work. Here's right. my thinking. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's say that the battery pack is 800 kilowatt hours or maybe even a megawatt mm -hmm. hour and that it weighs 10,000 pounds and that it costs $100,000 in today's dollars. Right. That means that you'd have to make the rest of the truck for $80,000 or less just to break even. Okay. First of all, I think you can do it because I don't think there's a whole lot to the rest of the truck. I think that you got four motors and you've got that nice cab with the two screens. And yes, I know it's way more complicated than I'm making it sound, but I do think that you can make a cab like that for about 80,000 now. And so it's a lot simpler than a, a traditional Peterbilt or, or Right, there's or no exhaust liner. system, right. there's no differential, there's no. There's a lot of stuff that's not there. No, no. Uh, no engine, right? No uh, engine. And there's no, no radiator and no transmission, right? Yeah. But if if my theory is correct, that would mean that you make no money on the truck, and that would make no sense. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing: the truck's not coming out until 2019, 2020, which means that that's three or four years away. Which means if you look at a battery cost curve, it's dropping fast. Mm -hmm. I think that Elon knows that in 2019, the cost of that same battery will be a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. Let's say 20, 30 percent cheaper. Yep. There's your profit margin. All they need is a 25% profit margin and they're making tons of money on the truck. Yeah. Not to mention the fact that you got to go to a mega charger to charge it. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people have said this, he's only going to charge seven cents per kilowatt hour to charge it. Therefore, he's going to lose a ton of money because he's got to pay like 
40 cents a kilowatt hour just to make the power. Why do you think that's either right or wrong? Okay, so right now in the United States, here in Massachusetts, for instance, we have like the highest electricity rate at around 24 cents per kilowatt hour. Yep. Incredibly high. The rest of the country is paying somewhere around 7 cents per kilowatt hour. Or, yeah, 15, yeah. My thought here would be, if you want a mega charger installed, it's going to, it draws so much power um, that a lot of places aren't really going to be able to have quite as many mega chargers. Because, I mean, you can think about each supercharger location, say with eight stalls, as being two mega charger Good way to think of it. Uh, locations. So, I mean, it, I think it would be doable, um, but I think that for places in the middle of the country, Tesla can install a solar field and battery packs, and that would basically be all that you need. I mean, Walmart, for instance, already has, you know, solar on a lot of their stores. You could just say to Walmart, it, would, one of your distribution centers, let's put solar on the roof, mm -hmm. and we'll put some power packs over here in the corner, mm -hmm. and now you've got your mega charger. Right. Um, and so, yeah, I don't see why it's going to cost as much money as people say for, for Elon to uh, create this power. Because I think that once you've invested in the solar and the, and the power packs, now you're getting solar from the sun. And so over time, that, that after you've paid off the cost of the solar cells and the mm -hmm. power pack, you're getting free energy. Right. Is he going to lose money? Maybe. Maybe he's going to lose a little per kilowatt hour in the beginning. But I think that once he builds out his network, he's going to be at the same position he is today with his supercharger network. Right. He's going to have a network that no one else has. And also keep in mind that right now he's selling uh, trucks to big corporations that are going to be using those trucks on well-defined lines. When you're selling consumer cars to consumers, I might decide, oh, I want to go to Maine today or I want to go to Las Vegas right now. I mean, I am just this random, I could, I could want to go anywhere. Right. Um, and so to build a supercharger network for me is a lot more difficult than building a supercharger network for someone like Walmart because Walmart's going to say, okay, we're doing our test between uh, you know, our distribution center here and our stores in these locations. And then Tesla can say, okay, cool, we'll build a, a mega charger right in the middle of all of those and they can stop on the mega charger on their way or maybe you know you have the mega charger at the distribution facility right there's all sorts of great things that could happen with that another point we get a lot from people is tesla's in trouble because there's new battery technology coming out and when that happens the lithium-ion battery will will be obsolete and tesla will go out of business and i just want to point out that tesla i'm sure knows that I'm sure they're working on the latest technology and batteries. Mm -hmm. They've probably got some of the best engineers in the world working on it. So don't think that they're just like, oh, we've got lithium ion and that's all we know. When the new technology comes right. out, they've got a gigafactory right now where they can start making that new technology. Right. To think that Tesla is ignoring the fact that there are going to be awesome advances in battery technology, I would say is foolish. I mean, it's obviously going to happen and I think Tesla knows this and they're planning for that. A lot of people have said to me that Elon is downplaying, that he always says things like, oh, battery technology, you know, yeah, it, people talk about it, but it's really not happening. Of course, you're going to say that when you're coming out with cars and trucks that have this battery, because if you were to tell people there'll be batteries 20 times better in five or 10 years, what do you think a lot of people are going to do? Yeah, they'll I'll wait. wait for that. Right. That's what we see a lot with a lot of things today. It's like, oh, I'll just wait. You can wait. Sure. Right. Go ahead and wait. But you're going to miss out on years and years of awesomeness because you're waiting for this amazing thing. And guess what? When that amazing thing comes out, there'll be, there'll a, be a better one. Another one. It, yeah, we've seen this with um, people waiting for better solar panels. They think mm -hmm. that there'll be higher efficiency solar panels in a couple of years. We've seen it with phones. I That's mean, true. this is an awesome phone, but in three, four years, there'll be something so much more awesome I can't even imagine what it can do. Right. And to, to always be aspiring for the next greatest thing and to be holding out... Um, isn't always the best uh, strategy. I mean, we get so many comments of like, tell Elon that he should talk to John Goodenough. First of all, we don't talk to Elon like on the regular. We where I've never, I've never said much to him other than just sort of screaming um, from the crowd. <laughs> yeah, we don't like, we're not in communication, first of all. And second of all- He's way smarter than we are. He, yeah, he knows. <laughs> he's a smart dude. Yeah. And he's surrounded by smart dudes. Right. And, and ladies. And they're all talking to each other and they right. all know what's going on. We want to put to rest a little bit this idea that um, there's, you know, always this battery breakthrough and that there's always, uh, you know, Tesla's on the verge of collapse because they're, they're not thinking about this breakthrough. Don't bet against Tesla. I don't think that's a wise idea. 
um, look at what they're creating. Are they always exactly on time? Maybe not, but the products they're coming out with are unbelievable. We have been sitting in the Model 3. The car is unbelievable. It just, it's smaller and lighter and faster and every, I mean, everything is so much cooler about this car for the price point. They, they want to change the world. Everyone who's there at Tesla either wants to uh, accelerate their career, and so they're in and out pretty quick, you know, get it on the resume, sure. and then they move on to somewhere else, they move on to Apple, or they want to change the world and they're doing it. Right. So. Yeah, so let us know your comments below about what you think. Is there a battery breakthrough going on right now in the Semi and the Roadster, or are they using existing technology? we're interested to hear. Um, and so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We're coming out with so many cool Model 3 videos mm -hmm. because we've got our hands on a Model 3 and I know you wanna see all the cool stuff we can do. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Now you know. <laughs>